What's up my fellow gamers? Uh, now I have a wonderful tutorial for you guys. This is actually a part one. I'll be making a two part video out of this. Um, but this this is uh, for those of you who are working with this so-called Pop Starter PS1 emulator on the PS2. Uh, what I'll be going over with you on is how to take like a, uh, a, a downloaded save file like say from uh, GameFacts.com and uh, actually getting them to work on the Pop Starter emulator. Uh, the game I'll be working with is Castlevania Symphony of the Night and, uh, and I'll, be show, I'll be going to the game first before I download the save files or do anything with that. I'll show you that I have no saves whatsoever on the game. So uh, I'll go ahead and do that. And so if you'll follow me over to PS2, we'll get this thing going. All right? All right, see you there. All right, guys. Uh, so, like I said, I'm going to be working with uh, Castlevania Symphony of the Night. And I actually got a, a, a shortcut in my menu here on my, on my PS2. But for the sake of this tutorial, guys, I'm just going to go into Ulaunch Elf and uh, boot it up from there. That way... Uh, Y'all don't think I'm cheating or anything like that, okay? Okay, so we're in you launch Elf. We'll go to Mass. This is my hard drive here. Go to Game Elf. Here's all my PS1 games. There's Castlevania Symphony of the Night, so I'm going to go ahead and boot it up. Okay, there's our PlayStation logo. <clears throat> All right, here's our game. We'll hit start. I'm just going to quickly show you guys that I have no saves. And there we go. Uh, as you can see, no saves whatsoever. Now I'll go over to the computer and we'll download some saves and uh, really get this thing going. All right. Okay, guys, so the first thing we're going to do, we're going to download this one program. And yes, you heard me right. Just one program is needed to do this. And it's, it's actually funny. This is probably my first time ever in one of my tutorials using one program. It's awesome. Can't believe it. But uh, here's the website. We're going to grab up our program. Uh, this is Shindo Software. This will be under the description, guys, so don't worry. Um, the program is called uh, Memcard Rex 1.8 Released. And what we're going to do, we're going to scroll on down. Here's the download link. We're simply going to click on that. Now we're brought to a Mediafire page, and we're going to simply hit download. And I'm going to save it to my desktop. And we'll extract the files. Okay, now that we got our program, now we got to grab up a save file real quick. Uh, this is GameFacts.com. This will be also under the description, guys, so don't worry. And the game that I mentioned earlier was Castlevania Symphony of the Night. So we're going to click on C for Castlevania. And scroll on down and here we go right here we're gonna scroll on over to where it says saves and we're gonna click on the saves tab now uh, it has quite a bit of saves here you got some for North America you have a uh, well this is North America too. the PS3 virtual memory card saves um, <clears throat> but the one I was going to get was, uh, let's see, where is it at, where is it at, where is it, let's see, okay, right here, game saved right before final battle with Dracula, now this is 255% completion, all items, equipment, uh, set up to 99, so I mean, this is absolutely everything, so I'm going to go ahead and grab up this file here, I'm going to save it to the desktop. Okay, there's our save file here, 
and uh, let's go ahead and open up our program here okay so here's our program <clears throat> it's really simple really simple to use uh, just go up to file here and and choose open and then here's our file right here on the desktop we'll simply click it and uh, what we're going to do next after it's in the program you go back up to file up here and you go to save as okay and you uh, well let me let me show you real quick this um, let me go into my folder here my oh well, my my hard drive just to show you something real quick okay we gotta go into the pops folder here now all these folders here are the the save uh, save file folders and here's my symphony of the night <clears throat> uh, this is slot 0 VMC that's my memory card slot 1 uh, slot 1 VMC is my memory card slot 2 uh, we're going to be using uh, slot 0 here so what I'm going to do is go ahead and just name this slot slot 0 okay that's what we're going to name that okay I'm just going to minimize this for a minute uh, now save as type let's see we're going to go into here we want to save it as a PS3 virtual memory card which is a VM1 and then hit uh, I'm just going to save it to desktop and hit save and it popped up over here okay so we're done with that now as you can see I'll bring this back up uh, as you can see we have a VM1 file this is a VMC file what we're actually going to do is go we're going to hit rename and we're actually going to take that one off and actually replace it with a C to make it a VMC file and what we're going to do here we're going to simply delete this file and drag and drop that one right in there like that so that that's it guys um, but you can only put one save onto this right here now my, my part two that I was talking about I'll be going over on how to actually put multiple saves on slot zero uh, using the uh, the memory card slot two and using the emulator to write the files so we'll go up to the game and I'll show you that it actually works and uh, I'll see you there okay guys so we're back at the PS2 and again for the sake of this tutorial I'm going to uh, boot the game up from a uh, U-Launch Elf that way you guys can see that I'm not cheating in any way And also I'll show you that it is the same game that I booted up earlier with no saves on it whatsoever. Um, there's a Castlevania Symphony of the Night, so we'll go ahead and boot it up. <clears throat> Stay showing. There's our file there. Uh, as you can see, it says level 99. It's 255% uh, complete. And let's go ahead and go into this, and I'll show you the uh, menu. Oh yeah. Right, so the marble gallery. Um. Let's see. As you can see, everything here is uh, all you see is nines everywhere. Uh, yes, that's, so that's pretty good. Uh, as you can see here too, I've got quite quite a bit of a uh, 
I mean, shoot. I mean, everything is 99. Everything is 99. So, uh, we'll go to spells. We have all, all these, uh, moves here. Relics. I mean, shoot, got all those. Uh, system. No, we don't need to go into system. Uh, familiars. There's our familiars list. As you can see, they're level 99, experience 99. I mean, you really can't get no better than that, guys. Really can't. Uh, so, uh. So, guys, I'm going to end this tutorial now. And, uh. And like I said, this is just part one. Uh, I'm going to be making a part two of this on how to uh, transfer more saves onto memory card slot one. That way, I mean, you could use, uh, I mean, if you have only two save files that you're going to use, you can use memory card slot one and two. But if, if you want to download, say, like there's four or five save files, then you're going to have to somehow transfer them over to... Uh, slot one uh, at least a couple of them anyway so I'll be going over that with you and uh, I don't know, until then guys uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you on part two